If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with an underactive thyroid, this video is for you. My name is Dr. Hart Pinto, I'm a doctor in the UK, and I would like to talk to you about underactive thyroid, or as doctors call it, hypothyroidism. We will look at what is an underactive thyroid and what causes it, are there any risk factors for getting an underactive thyroid, what are the symptoms of hypothyroidism and how is it diagnosed, how will your underactive thyroid be treated, and what are the problems if my underactive thyroid isn't treated? So, what is an underactive thyroid and what causes it? Your thyroid gland is a small butterfly-shaped gland that lives in the neck, just in front of your windpipe. The main function is to help regulate your body's metabolism. It does this by releasing two hormones, triodothione, T3, and thyroxine, T4. In some people, the levels of these hormones are too low. This is something that can happen at any age. Babies are even tested at five days old, and this forms part of the blood spot tests that community midwives perform. Babies who are found to have low thyroid levels from birth are given the name congenital hypothyroidism. An underactive thyroid can be caused by chronic autoimmune thyroiditis. This is a condition where the body's own immune system, which normally combats infection, attacks the thyroid gland. This damages the thyroid, and as a result, it cannot produce enough of the thyroid hormones. The most common form of this is known as Hashimoto's thyroiditis. This can sometimes run in families and may be linked to other autoimmune conditions. It can also occur post-treatment for hyperthyroidism, where people have received radioactive iodine treatment or even after surgical removal. A poor dietary intake of iodine can be a rare cause of underactive thyroid. In order for the thyroid to make effective levels of thyroxine, it requires iodine. A special gland in your brain also plays an important role in helping regulate your thyroid function. This is called the pituitary gland. It secretes a hormone called TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. In patients with tumours of this gland, levels of TSH can fall, leading to a reduction in the amount of thyroxine the thyroid makes. This cause of hypothyroidism is very rare. Certain medications can also have a negative effect on thyroid function, including amiodarone, which is a medication used to treat heart arrhythmias, lithium, a mood stabiliser, interferons, which are medication used to treat viral inflammation of the liver, and some types of cancers. Are there any risk factors for getting an underactive thyroid? Underactive thyroid is relatively common. It is more commonly found in women and those over the age of 60 years. As mentioned before, this condition can sometimes run in families and may also be present in individuals with other autoimmune conditions such as type 1 diabetes. So what are the symptoms you might experience if you're hypothyroid? Everyone's symptoms are different, but many people will complain of feeling tired all the time, experiencing persisting low mood or poor memory, an inability to tolerate the cold. They may notice that they have cold hands. Some people may complain also of pain, numbness or pins and needles in the hands and the fingers. This may indicate the development of a condition called carpal tunnel syndrome. You may notice that your skin becomes dry, your hair becomes brittle and also your nails. You may find that you've gained weight, have a poor sex drive, or develop constipation. Other patients may complain of muscle aching, cramping, or weakness. You may also notice that your voice changes and may become hoarse. And some women may also notice a change in their periods, becoming irregular or heavier. So how is it diagnosed? If your doctor suspects that you have an underactive thyroid, they will organise for a blood test to look at the levels of thyroxine produced by the thyroid plus the levels of TSH. That's the thyroid stimulating hormone released from the special gland in your brain. A diagnosis of hypothyroidism is confirmed by low levels of thyroxine and increased levels of the stimulating hormone TSH. This is because your thyroid fails to produce enough thyroxine the thyroid hormone, and the special pituitary gland in your brain tries to stimulate the thyroid to produce more. Much like the driver of a car running out of petrol. 
He presses harder on the accelerator, but if there's no petrol, the car's not going to go any faster. Equally, the thyroid gland, if it's not working effectively, is not going to respond to the stimulating hormones TSH. In some patients, thyroxine levels may be normal, but the TSH is still raised. This can indicate that there is a developing underactive thyroid. If an autoimmune cause is suspected for your underactive thyroid, your doctor may look for the presence of a thyroid antibody. Where present, this indicates that the immune system has attacked the thyroid. So how will your underactive thyroid be treated? If your doctor diagnoses an underactive thyroid, they will prescribe you a synthetic thyroxine hormone. This is called levothyroxine. If you wish to learn more about levothyroxine, why not watch Dr. Jumbokas' video? Here she explains whether this medication is suitable for you, how you should take this medication, and the common side effects. Your doctor will also regularly monitor your thyroid function after starting your medication. This is in the form of a blood test. From this, your doctor can adjust the dose of your levothyroxine to a level that works for you. Getting your dosing right can sometimes be tricky, and sometimes requires a number of adjustments to your dosing. It can also take several weeks before you start feeling the benefit from the medication. Don't forget, everybody is different. If you're trying to get pregnant, or think you might be pregnant, make sure you talk to your regular doctor, as you may need closer monitoring and dose adjustments. If you have an underactive thyroid and are requiring levothyroxine, it's likely you will need to take this medication lifelong. So what happens if my underactive thyroid isn't treated? If your underactive thyroid is not being treated, it places you at risk of developing an increased risk of heart disease. This is because patients with low thyroxine levels can develop high levels of bad cholesterol, LDL, which places you at increased risk for heart attacks and strokes. Some patients may also complain of a swelling in the neck. Overstimulation of the underactive thyroid by the TSH hormone produced by the pituitary gland in your brain causes the thyroid to gradually increase in size. If it becomes large enough, it may be visible and can cause pressure on your wind and food pipes in the neck, causing difficulty in breathing and swallowing. The nerves which supply your limbs may be damaged, resulting in weakness, numbness and pins and needles. Low thyroxine levels, as mentioned above, can affect your mood and your cognition, and this can have a knock-on effect of causing depression or early dementia. You may find that your fertility is also affected, making it more difficult to become pregnant. Amongst expecting mothers with an underactive thyroid, there is also an increase in babies with birth defects. In the worst case scenario, you're at risk of developing a condition called myxedema coma, which can ultimately lead to death. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've found this information useful. If you have enjoyed it, why not subscribe, click the bell and write down below. Of course, this video does not contain tailored medical advice and is intended for informational purposes only. Please do not consider this as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Don't ignore professional medical advice in seeking treatment because of something you've heard here. If you believe you may have a medical emergency, immediately call your doctor or ambulance service. Thank you for watching and see you next time.